So my name is Tip Chen and I'm a teacher in the Nukadampa tradition living in Norway um, but I lived for a long time in Scotland um, and I spent time in various places in Scotland uh, studying and practicing meditation. Um, so this question of what is happiness um, is a very nice question. <laughs> Um, and I think it's a very essential question that um, applies to everyone uh, because underlying everything we do basically is a wish to be happy or a wish to be free from suffering which is more or less the same thing it's like two sides of the same thing um, <clears throat> and it seems like uh, our happiness sometimes doesn't last very long so for me, real happiness um, is coming from a deeply peaceful mind. And that deeply peaceful mind can arise in different ways. Um, and it has different levels. So in a sense, happiness is an inner experience. It's a state of mind. Um, it's a feeling. Um, but it's not the feeling that we would necessarily always call um, happiness. So sometimes we, we say we're happy when we're excited, but actually that kind of happiness has a little bit of an edge. Um, so for me happiness is about being really peaceful, really contented, um, and there's a kind of stability to it. It's, it's more long-lasting. It's not as fleeting. Um, and I would say that um, because it's a state of mind, then it very much depends upon what is going on in the mind. Um, and that's actually a very helpful understanding because it puts hap happiness much more within reach. And um, so uh, if we can manage to have a peaceful mind, then we can be happy more and more of the time. And um, one way to have peace of mind is to meditate, obviously, um, to create some space in the mind, some inner peace. Um, but we can also learn how to keep a peaceful mind in our daily activities. So, for example, by focusing our mind on the right things, like patience. <laughs> if you can keep a patient mind, you can be peaceful. And if you're peaceful, you can actually be surprisingly happy, even in a shopping market queue or in a traffic jam. Um, or if you can focus the mind, for example, on love, um, cherishing others or caring for others, even just mentally, wishing for their happiness, feeling like others are important. This also leads to peace of mind and happiness. So um, for me, happiness is a state of mind and the main causes not be found outside of the mind and so the pursuit of happiness becomes very much about what's going on in here um, and then it just sort of radiates out uh, so it ends up affecting others and the external world and your experience of the world but it starts in here.